So I'm just gonna come out and say it right now. I have no idea what the hell I just watched. All I know is it is from the director who made this incredible movie, Revenge, and it might even be better. Scrum, buddy. Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing The Substance. This is about a fading celebrity who decides to use a black market drug that is a cell replicating substance that temporarily creates a younger, better version of yourself. Now, this is directed and written by Coralie Farget. Now, I might be mispronouncing that. I apologize, but it also stars the likes of Margaret Qualley, Dennis Quaid, and of course, the incredible Demi Moore. And this is a movie that came out of like nowhere specifically for my radar. And it's kind of wild that it did because it premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. It's been going through some of the other film circuits such as TIFF. And when this invite came in, I thought to myself, this is a very interesting looking movie. And then I saw it was from this director who had made Revenge. And it instantly sold me that I had to make time. I have to watch this film. I'm so happy that I got to experience this in theaters. It's truly enough, The Substance isn't just one of the best movies of 2024. It might be my favorite horror movie of this year, which is wild to say when we just also had Long Legs, Alien Romulus, and quite a few other ones that really impressed me. But there's something about the substance that just feels so quintessential for this generation of cinema goers, and in general, also this decade of filmmaking. And the substance feels like it submits itself and solidifies itself of what so many filmmakers try to do when they try to make things that feel very Kubrick and Hitchcock-esque, but this movie actually nails it without just feeling like a copycat of it. It feels heavily inspired by Kubrick of himself. It never feels like it's a copycat. At the same time, also doubling down on its own body horror. And that itself is just everything else. And there's so much stuff that I'm going to definitely want to be talking about with this. But this will be a non-spoiler review. I'm going to stay as vague as possible when it comes down to certain things. So in some ways, you might be coming to this review after watching the movie once it finally comes out and being like, what the fuck did I just watch? And trust me, me and my friend, we drove home in almost pure silence with our jaws still hanging from the floor. But the instant reaction that I had leaving this movie was, we need more movies like this that are audacious that are grotesque but at the same time they can be weird but tell a meaningful and powerful story definitely make sure to leave your thoughts down below are you excited for the substance did you get a chance to check it out early at one of the festivals or maybe it's you're watching this review after the film is premiered and you've already gotten to see it and you're coming here and I'm very curious to hear if you like this movie or not. So make sure to leave those thoughts again down below. Hit that like subscribe button and let's dive into this. And with every movie review, I like starting with my pros. And the number one thing I do want to start with is always the performances. So first off, Dennis Quaid, a lot of fun in here. But really enough, this is Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley's film. Now, I've loved both these actresses. I think Margaret has been such an up-and-comer. And I love seeing her in all these little things. And it's great to see her in such a starring vehicle. And Demi Moore, I feel like she hasn't really had a starring vehicle for quite a while and this is a very vulnerable performance there is just like to put this out there there's a lot of nudity in this there is a lot of bloody and weird things that go on in here and a lot of things that the director is specifically asking Demi Moore to push out there and one of the things that really looks at this is because it's looking at a fading celebrity and in terms of age and in terms of beauty and how we look at ourselves as we continue to grow up. Because, I, I mean, I can't. I, I look at pictures of me in high school and I see, dang, I was a skinny and muscular kid and now I'm, now, now I'm me, <laughs> you know? And for me, what I was able to see with Demi Moore in here is that, it's vulnerable. It's it's being asked to play a role like this. And in the certain capabilities of where her character goes, it's it's hard to watch but in a way that only I think Moore was able to play off, and she is phenomenal in here. There is one moment in particular in this film where she's doing her makeup, and she consistently just keeps going back and redoing it. And something so simple that if you have a wife, a girlfriend, or just a friend that puts makeup on themselves, if you've ever watched them get ready, you may have seen them like take it off, reapply it, whatever. Maybe they messed it up. It could be a, a countless different things. But in this territory, this is one of the most horrifying sequences in the movie because it's something so simple that so many people do every day. 
but in the same territory in the way that the music and everything was playing up to that ante and everything that had built up to that point, it's suspenseful and it's terrifying. And Demi Moore does a phenomenal job in this film. Alongside this, Margaret Qualley is fantastic as well. Every single moment. And I like how, again, since these are technically both the same exact character, what you get from here is someone that you can see that's the personality of her when she was younger, the perfect version of herself, as you may say. And I like how Quali was able to bring that to life, bring a younger version of more to life, and at the same time bring this charismatic sexual energy that is vastly and needed for the film to understand to the viewers how this is playing off, but it's off to a subtle way of how this charm and this energy that everyone else is giving to you, this love and attention, can be drug-like, addicted-like, obsessed-like. And I was really happy to see how they were able to pull that through. And I think a lot of this all comes down, to, in the end of the day, to Corley Farget, who is the director and writer of this movie. Again, I love what she was able to do with Revenge. If you still have never seen that movie, I highly recommend it. But this movie, I, I mean, this is her film. This is the type of movie that, again, we need more in cinema and that can push the boundaries in terms of what you are showing viewers, but at the same time, never leave you behind. And I think one of the smartest things about this film really comes down to the script. And the script here, while again, is in the fitting nature of body horror. It's a quintessential body horror movie in the terms of what is the definition of body horror. And I think in some ways, while on the surface we look at it, it's just like a body being demorphed or fucked up in some ways, this movie takes it up to another notch and actually touches into the hone aspect of our own worst enemy is usually ourselves. The person that we look into the mirror when we see ourselves and tell ourselves some of those dirty and drastic and evil thoughts about ourselves, whether we're ugly, whether we hate some feature on ourselves or any of those aspects, that is our worst enemy. And the substance is very much portraying this into an eluding, figuratively way, and as well as a mental way as well. And the way that it kind of balances both aspects, specifically with the two main characters, but also with everything surrounding them and everything surrounding the substance itself, always was fantastic and also really intriguing. That's another thing. For two hours and 20 minutes, I was completely locked into this movie. And that's saying a lot because I don't have all the time in the world. I get busy and I get exhausted. And this is a movie that, again, just hooks you in and just never pulls away. And I think one of the smartest things with the script is the fact that, again, over two hours and 20 minutes, it's consistently shaking up and adding new things to the story to where it just moves at such a brisk pace that you never feel that pacing. I've seen countlessly weird movies like this before where the pacing is just a slog and it's entertaining for the most part, but I find myself getting a little bit tired of it and those movies are sometimes only an hour and 30 minutes. The fact that I was able to be locked in for two hours and 20 minutes and just be completely stupefied and swept off my feet and found speechless by the end because of what the story was able to tell is a true accomplishment in its own. And I, like I mentioned, they're always adding something new and nothing that goes over and beyond your head. It's like that next detail, like, okay, you've settled in, you understand the whole concept, let's move forward to the next piece. Okay, this is entertaining, let's see how this goes. Oh, but what happens if you don't do this? Like, there's these certain rules to the drug. Okay, you broke that rule. This is what happens now. But what happens if you take it another further and you continue to break that rule? Do you want to risk that? And the more and more and more that it gets added on top of each other, it just becomes brilliant. Because you're continuously wanting to see this evolution of the substance and how it affects these two people and there came a point probably in the third act where this massive thing happens and I didn't know how they were going to go along with it and it the second before it kicks off the third act you're like this is insane and then it gets even more insane and it just keeps doubling down and going into ways that I didn't expect there's a part where something happens to a character's mouth and it's very towards the end 
And I was like, oh, like that's disgusting, but it's probably gonna, this is probably what's gonna happen next. And the complete 360 of that happens. And the worst nightmare that I could have ever imagined happened instead. And it, it, it just, again, it locks you in into such a way that I, I was so impressed by. And it just, I'm fucking speechless. Adding on top of that, the writing is nothing without the directing. Because again, that script can be there. But if the direction is not as strong, then the film won't be as strong. And the film is directed in such a way. Again, all these moments feel earned and brought to life. None of it ever feels fake. And again, it feels very Kubrick inspired from certain camera shots to even certain moments in editing styles. But it all feels so modern and specifically to this director. You can tell the inspirations are there, but it does feel like you are watching a new vision from a director that many of you, I guarantee, are not familiar with. But you will be after you see this film. Brought me back to the original memories of when I watched Revenge and some of the editing styles and again some of the camera shots that were picked in there. And I was really happy to see how that flowed over to the substance itself. And there are so many movies that I think a lot of people will compare this movie to and specifically like the way and tone that it's told. But I think in the end of the day, it is its own completely unique idea that again feels inspired from so many countless years of horror and specifically so many countless years of directors. But for me, this is the top of it all and something so special that you have to see in theaters. I really would like to get into spoilers, but this is the movie that you want to go into without knowing anything and just get the same experience that I was able to. So with that said, I'm sure you're wondering, is there any issues? And I'm kind of sitting here saying, no, this is perfection. The substance is perfection. It's the quintessential body horror movie for this generation. A shocking, disgusting, and vulnerable film that feels like a grotesque, Kubrick-inspired look at our own nightmarish inner thoughts that we have on ourselves and the love that we cherish to have. Corley Farget will leave you speechless with their brilliant direction and writing. And like I mentioned from the top, we need more films like this. I love this movie so much. I can't implore you enough to go see it. Again, this will not be for everyone. This will not be for everybody. It is a weird and unique horror movie, but one that I cannot wait to discuss with you all down below in the comment section. So with all that said, I'm going to give The Substance an A+. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.